Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're going to look at a beer that I was, uh, well, that I bought from uh, PremiumNearBeer.com. Uh, they have they have alcohol-free wines, alcohol-free uh, ciders, alcohol-free spirits, alcohol-free beer. They had a list of about 20 alcohol-free beers. The owner of this company is trying to start up an alcohol-free uh, craft brewing company. Um, and I really was curious to try some of these. I've only had like two or three uh, non-alcoholic beers that I've liked, that I thought were okay. And I mean, this this is a niche where it could work if you find a good one. Uh, so this is one of the ones that was in the uh, Mix 12 pack I bought. There was 16 beers on there that I had not had. The Mix 12 pack had uh, 10 beers I haven't had in it. So there's six left, but they're sold in 2.4s, and I refuse to pay $37 for a 2.4 of non-alcoholic beer that I don't care to drink all that much, to be honest with you. I just want to try. So I, I refuse to do that. But I would buy this mix pack just for some reviews. So here we go. We have a mix pack. Uh, so it was a $37 purchase for 12 So you're looking at, uh, on average, about $3 a can slash bottle. Uh, shipping was in that price, so hey, yay. Uh, this is Texas Select Non-Alcoholic Brew. Contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. I never knew this place existed. This beer existed, but I mean, I'm not from Texas. Uh, I, I turned the can over here and I got non-alcoholic under section 5051 of the LRC. Uh, this product not subject to federal excise taxes. Okay. But you'd think if it still had 0.5% alcohol, it would still need to have some federal excise. I mean, uh, excises for alcohol, and it's, there's still some in here, but whatever. Uh, but state taxes may apply. Average, uh, average analysis of each 12 ounce serving calories, 58. Carbohydrates, 22.1 grams. Protein, 0 0.4 grams. And 0% fat. Uh, I turn it over here and I get this message. Uh, first off, recycle. Made in the USA, recyclable aluminum. And then, uh, produced for Rick... Rick... Is that Rick... Yeah, that's Richland. Richland, not Rickland. So, Richland uh, Beverage Associates Limited. Dallas, Texas. By San Antonio Beverage Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Wait, San Antonio, isn't San Antonio, Texas? San Antonio, Texas. So San Antonio Beverage Company is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and they produce this for a Dallas beverage company. Okay, okay. Texas Select. I'm going to guess it's going to be crystal gold, like just pure see-through golden straw color. And uh, pouring it, it looks like it's going to be. That's okay. Yeah, that is pure, pure urine yellow, which is what a lot of uh, macro loggers come out as, just slightly, slightly colored up, uh, slightly colored up yellow color, you know, just straw colored, bright white head, lots of it, big snap crackle pop, I did pour aggressively, so I got a lot more head than you would normally get, um, Can I say that if this was in a glass, it would not look like a beer? No, I cannot say that. If that was put in front of me, it would look like a beer. Uh, this Texas Select can, even though it does say non-alcoholic brew down here in fairly large letters, if this was put on the table beside me, well, beside somebody, I wouldn't look over and think they were drinking a non-alcoholic beer. It doesn't look like the Excel can or anything like that that just, uh, just kind of screams no. Um, yeah, all in all... Visual appeal looks like a regular macro lager. The can looks like uh, your regular like U.S. budget can. So I mean, it it looks the part. Scent. No, thank you. No, no, I don't like the smell of this. Doesn't mean I'm not going to like it per se or be able to handle it. I mean, there are some, like I said, non-alcoholic beers I don't mind, but. This smells very sweet. Um, one of my main drawbacks to non-alcoholic beer is the sweetness. A lot of them are fairly sweet. This is uh, this is one of them. It smells very uh, very high fructose corn syrupy, shall we say? Uh, very just extremely sweet up at the forefront. A pungent sweetness up at the forefront. 
almost almost like honey in there too a almost honey like scent let's try it cheers yeah so there's a lot worse non-alcoholic beers out there but this one is the uh, not attenuated uh, malt beverage type of flavor uh, much like a Malta or a Tiger malt or anything like that it's just very malt forward very uh, caramel caramel butterscotch uh, molasses and honey all mixed together just very sweet very under attenuated but I mean it's a non-alcoholic beer so you wouldn't expect a much attenuation in there um, I mean there are different ways to make non-alcoholic beer one is to actually brew beer and then uh, water it down and try and make it taste like beer still uh, another is to basically make beer but not add yeast uh, so you it never does attenuate um, there, there, there's a lot of different ways if you if you look online there's there's like three main ways of doing it and uh, this is the way that a lot of big guys seem to do it and it uh, like Excel kind of tastes like this uh, Coors Coors Bank uh, Coors Coors non-alcoholic kind of had a uh, broccoli taste to me uh, to it for me I mean there's there's a lot of different ways that they come out but this super sweet way not the worst way of them all but I just don't like them to be honest it's just it's so sweet it's almost like candy uh, you know what it kind of reminds me of those uh caramels you could get uh, at Halloween that you always hated the house that gave them out and they were they were in the uh, yellow and orange and black wrappers they, they had the Halloween themed decals on them and you'd open them up and it would just be a little piece of toffee and you'd eat that toffee and it tastes just like this beer does so taste wise is a bad taste no but if I if I'm drinking a non-alcoholic beer I want it to taste like beer not us candy I don't want it to be super sweet I don't want it to be anything like that that being said is this the worst non-alcoholic beer I've drank no not at all is it a non-alcoholic beer I want to drink again again no not at all if I had to could I sure do I want to no out of 10 I'll give it a 575 it's 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 acceptable in the genre but it's just not something I want uh, usually I would chug these, this is probably going to go down the drain in all honesty, and it's not because I couldn't drink it, uh, it's, it's not like there's alcohol in it to hurt me if I, you know what, who cares, let's do it, cheers. So, you can get this on premium, non, uh, premium near beer com. you can buy their mixed packs, they have a 24 pack, uh, I don't know if the 24 pack has different beers than this one did. I didn't really look it up to be honest. Um, it could just be two of each beer. I don't know. Uh, all in all, if you like near beer, if you like trying different near beers, it's a good website to go to. If you don't, whatever. Um, it's okay. This is an okay one. If you've had drank it, let me know what you think. I know there's going to be people that get all up in arms and are all angry with me because I don't love it. It's okay. Go ahead, be angry. We're allowed to have differing opinions. We're allowed. And the fact that I have to sit here and say, oh, fuck you all, bye.